All right. Our 635 is down and has been down. I'm gonna show y'all here. Let me get my, I'm gonna get the dates and the times and all that stuff right here. Show y'all what's going on. This machine went down on Thursday, August the 25th, right at the end of the day. You can see what happened. This is the rear drive shaft right here. This drive shaft kicks up about right in here on the machine, and then it runs back there to the bogey. And that's what it does. And there's a there's a universal joint that connects right here that goes into the uh that goes into the bogey back here. You can see it up in there. Right there. That's it right there. Alright, if you remember last year, last August, a year ago this month, that yoke right there busted on us. And uh we had to put another yoke in it one day. Alright. Which that somebody. Which that's okay. Um You can see it just took the whole whole side of it off right there. That's okay. That means the drive line, the actual drive shaft is the weak link in the system and that's fine because i'd rather that bust than something in this bogey right here go out it's what i'd rather happen no okay today is wednesday august the 31st that machine right there is still down. We still do not have a dry shaft for this machine right here. This machine went down. Well, I told you when it went down earlier in the video. Uh, Tiger Cat, they did find a dry shaft in Georgia. I think um, Swainsboro or something like that. It's a day drive there and back. To, we could have went down there, picked it up uh, Monday. They were going to air, next day air it to us, so we'd have it Tuesday. Uh, it got hung up in Louisville, Kentucky by UPS. Uh, this video is not a rent video or anything like that, and it's not throwing anybody under the bus. It's just facts. That's all it is. But my dad has done been to UPS. He went out there uh, Saturday morning, Monday morning, yesterday morning, which was Tuesday, and he's back out there again this morning. We also opted when we didn't get the shaft yesterday, which was Tuesday, August the 30th. Dad come flying out here real quick, grab the old shaft to fly to get it to one of our machine shops here in town to get it worked on or get a new yoke put on it and of course uh, uh, they just gonna drag their feet to be honest with you uh, we will we will probably have the new one before we get the the old one the yoke put in it <clears throat> uh, frustrating uh, don't describe it man uh, I mean, <clears throat> this machine being down right here is basically costing us about $10,000 a day. We can't run without this machine in this terrain that we're in hardly. And uh, so Monday, all we was able to get was uh, 11 loads. And we're running the 748 and our 648. And those machines will only do so much in this kind of ground like this. And of course, uh, Chad don't want to run one of these other machines, which I mean, that's understandable when you're used to running something like this. 
but that makes uh four u joints and two yokes that we've got in this machine which i would prefer that to be the weak length weak link in the system rather than tear something up in the bogies back here because there's no telling what that would cost but here's the thing i do think it's time to back down a little bit on what we're loading behind this machine in the terrain that we're in and just back it down a little bit you know what i mean because uh, i think four u joints and two yokes is enough and then being down since thursday afternoon that's uh, four gonna be four solid days that we're down and there's no guarantee that we're gonna have that drive one of those two drive shafts there's no guarantee that we're gonna have one of them today i don't know what ups's deal is uh we've had a lot of trouble with ups here recently uh, a lot of trouble and dealing with ups i have a lot of ups people watch my videos well, what's the deal man i mean what's the deal um they lost some of our saw bars uh topping saw bars organ bars here about three months ago and it took forever for them to replace them they finally replaced them we had ordered a uh a fuel sending unit which is about five feet long for our 822 they destroyed that thing three times and we had to send it back uh, three times and got the fourth one and they finally didn't destroy it uh and uh tiger cat finally put it inside of a wooden box so it wouldn't get bent or anything and then this right here with this drive shaft uh you can't get no answers from ups and they're not gonna answer to us but uh it's costing us a lot of money, man. A lot of money. Uh, this is the this is the dark side of logging and stuff like this. And you have stuff like this happen. And uh, and some people say I'm gonna state this right here too. Some people say, "Oh, you should have had a John Deere. You should have had a John Deere." Let me tell you something about John Deere. Last August 2015, it took John Deere four weeks, four weeks to fix my air conditioner in my loader to get me a compressor and stuff so it's not just tiger cat it's john deere too it's all of them a machine listen to this right here let me tell you something right now a machine it doesn't matter how good it is a machine is only as good as as fast as you can get it back going uh disappointed is an understatement hopefully both of those drive shafts will be in the day of course we only need one of them i think tiger cat b and g stroking out right now we're stroking out uh, we just need the machine back running and uh and all that but uh, uh doesn't matter how big a machine is how big it is everything has its limitations and if you push it past those limitations you're asking for it and so like i said earlier i think it's time for us to back down just a little bit back it down just a little bit so we don't destroy u-joints and yokes and everything because i mean that cost us a lot of money on that so hopefully dad will call here in a minute and say he's on the way with a dry shaft and we'll get this fiasco over with and behind us get this machine back going here in a minute but i'll be back we'll see y'all so to make things even worse there's our 748 on the other side of the 830 he's done blowed a uh, three-quarter line coming off the valve bank on the right side of the cab there derek's in there with him so well only scatter we got running here on this job now it's Tommy's old 648 right there. What a shame. Dad just showed up. We've been we've been to go over here and talk to him. This might get interesting. May end up doing some bleeping here on this one here in just a second. You finally get it, Dad. That thing had a 
there to deliver on you see? That's the here. And then they change it the second day. Put another stick on it right there, see so it change the second day. Hmm. This one that come from Canada now left Friday. Well, that's right. Friday coming from Canada. This is a uh, this is the original one. Then this is the original, one. Is the original the one. one. Oh, one bunch of jacks on yeah. it last night instead of Birmingham. Let's see. Split them up, and I don't know what happened. Why? Uh, I know the end part of it here. You see? Yeah. yeah. Let me take it. Yeah. Let's see what you see right Hang on. I don't know how the end come out of it. And I mean, it was, it was nine o'clock. Well, they unloaded the next day's stuff last. That's the last container they always unload out there. Yeah, Jackson. And they still don't know where that other one is, right? They still was in, in Jackson. Jackson. Scan in at 401 or something in Jackson arrival time. We didn't leave Jackson. Yeah, they got caps on those. They got caps on those. One thing, I just cut that tape around those joints. So, all right, lay it down. Lay it down. I didn't know they had that tape right there like that. I figured it had in a wood box. All right, now these right here will slide off. Okay, so, so they had that. They had that packing tape on them. Yeah, well, I don't even like that. That's gay. So us this just made uh so you went out there Saturday, Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Wednesday, four days you know been out there. Uh it didn't have Saturday delivery, well, I don't know what happened. Okay. Jay should be here in a second. Let's see here. The other part we delivered was golf bar. It had some kind of problem. I'll tell you what it says. All right. Yeah. You know, all right, I'll show you all right, quick. This is the shaft. Let's see right here. This is the one. This is the shaft right here that we ordered uh, Thursday afternoon. Of course, it was too late to get it shipped Thursday, so it shipped it Friday. Saturday delivery from Canada. That's Saturday now, and we're just now getting it on Wednesday. The following freaking week I sure hope Tiger Cat gets an explanation of what happened here so it came with another yoke on the other end there too okay alright so we get that other shaft that one at the machine shop get it done so they didn't need to keep that yoke then whatever right there the that, original scan yeah. on 29 see now Swainsboro the is that the one Swainsboro? That's the that's the second one then, right? right uh -huh. So you got the Louisville 8:30, 3:49 p.m. A mechanical failure, delayed delivery. The Swainsboro, that's down there. That's where Bobby Claxton lives right, in and Swainsboro. It, and then scanned in at Jackson at 4:19 a.m. this morning. morning. I guess it's still well, it's there. Pitiful. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. We got her now, though. Jay ought to be here in just a minute. Hmm. Get this joker back going. See, it, is, it was next day air. See, it should have been here yesterday. It still ain't here. Mm -hmm. 48 pounds. It's going to cost us a lot of money, ain't it? Yeah, this is 50 pounds. So. 50 pounds. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. A lot of money. A lot of money. That comes through Birmingham, doesn't with Jackson. <laughs> and this guy's just still in Jackson. <laughs> it comes with this far. and everything because this ain't tight, you see. Yeah. Uh, I bet that thing I bet that thing probably cost five hundred dollars for next day air and it took it ground shipping to get here. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> no, we're not we're not gonna pay the shipping on it. Yeah. And we're not going to pay the shipping on it. 
Y'all hear that? Y'all get some lawyers if you want to. We're not gonna pay the shipping on this thing right here. Y'all can show this in the courtroom or whatever if you have to later on, but that's just how it's gonna be, man. I mean, out of work, maybe this one's gonna get in. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You see, it showed in Columbus at 7 this morning. I knew it couldn't have been there, see? Hmm. You got there about this morning. He said he showed it in Columbus? Yeah, that's right, or this morning, early this morning. Yeah. Yeah, it showed it. Did a scan in at Columbus? I did remind everybody that this can happen with John Deere stuff too, Jay, because it took, what, four weeks last year to fix my air conditioner on my loader back in August. Uh -huh. And about died running that thing every day with no air conditioner in it. So it can ha it happen to any of them. Yeah. That was a condenser problem, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. All right, I'm finna go get back up in my loader. And uh, if you need something or whatever you need, you want to just holler at us on the radio and want us to jump up here. And we got the, our 748, we got a busted hose on it, so we're down to one scooter, man. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing this right here come in, ain't it? Yeah, it's a good thing. So Derek's down there, they're getting that line off of it down there now. That's what they're doing. So maybe we can get it back cramped here and get it back going here in a minute. In our little 648 here, we're having some electrical problems, which is typical John Deere. Uh, the parking brake keeps engaging on it, and it just locks down. Had Chad stopped and road up here a while ago and had the road just about completely blocked couldn't get the scooter to move just uh <laughs> pretty aggravating man so we're gonna see what the 635 looks like here
Yes. That, it's slow about response. The bigger the hole, the faster the response. And if I was some kind of cat, that's just an orifice, okay. So I guess it goes on the end here, the end of the... Yeah. When it goes down and the um, spool okay. goes down in it. got a solenoid that's leaking on this valve bank. This is still on the 635. But well, Derek said that thing cost like 300 or something, wasn't it? You know what it was, 300 yeah. something dollars for that, for that solenoid right there? Uh -huh. Jay's taking the Allens out of it now, it's gonna pull it out. I don't know if that will have an orifice. Yeah, it's got it on there. So yeah, that's small. a little bitty one, yeah. So you'll take that one off and put it on that one then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. or something. Let's yeah. Boy, you could stop that thing up with a little piece of trash mm -hmm. in a heartbeat. That's actually a really good design, how they got that done, how they got that valve bank sitting up there like that. that. Sure I mean, you can't beat that with a stick because we've had to change the liners, uh, a couple lines on that thing since we've had it, and it's really yeah. easy to get to. Other than just taking the covers off to get to it, that's yeah. the worst part about it. A lot better design than John Deere on their valve. breathing fire again. Now we're fixing to go in here and release the parking brake on that 748. We're fixing to drag that son of a gun up here to uh, put, uh, get that hose on it. At least she's back around. 